Okay, pleasant evening folks. Neil here from Southwest Adventures. We are down at Constance Beach at this time. And there's always a saying there's a calm if I swim. So what does this guy have here man? A dog. You have your dog, you're taking your dog to the beach? Yeah. Look at how cute he is. What's his name? A princess. Princess? Hi princess, how are you? Hey. Man, princess is, is, a, is a naughty dog. Oh, oh princess. So, oh man, princess is a bad dog. We gotta keep princess a, a little distance off. So we're heading to the beach? Uh -huh. Alright. So you gotta give princess a little bit and relax yourself and stuff like that? Yeah. You scared about the storm coming and stuff like that? No? No. No scared? Alright, we safe on the corner here, man. Don't worry yeah. yourself. Man. Hi, Caleb. Yeah. How are you? Good? Good. How do you feel about the storm coming? Yeah. Anyway, we are, we are, we are kind of deep south. I'll probably, I'll probably show you guys a little, a little drawing of... Let me see, I'm not an artist in but I could probably try and show you guys something. Can I film the film? Film. Film, Caleb. Okay. Alright, so... This is a little map of Trinidad here. The bag was supposed to be up here, so... Alright, and um... We are way down south here. We are way down south here. And the hurricane is more north of us. But usually there's a saying that there's a, there's a calm before a storm. And you can see evidence of this here today. Eh? A very much calm before the storm. But worst case scenario from the traject trajected um, part of the storm, barrel, um, we might just experience the outer bands. We might get some flash flooding, um, a lot of rains. You know what I'm saying? But it's a beautiful evening, man. Beautiful evening. We have some beach goers this afternoon here, taking in the sea. And um, it's a beautiful evening, man. Beautiful evening. Beautiful evening here. So, so Caleb and I are just taking a walk on the shoreline here and enjoying the ambience. So we have a nice low tide now. Really, really nice, clean and serene beach. I mean, encourage beach goers when they come on the beach, please. Let's uh, let's keep our beaches clean, right? Clean and serene. That's how it's supposed to be, right? Clean and serene. That's how our beach is supposed to be. I just hate to see plastic bottles and plastic bags and beer bottles and cans and what have you on the shoreline you know it really really kind of mars the beauty but the sea is as calm as oil look at it look at it people the sea is as calm as oil now i just want to bring something to to you all attention right look at how much look at how the sea is actually cutting the land here you know look at this dirt here that's how it's undermining this the arm. Um, there's a big bank. Just kill this arm next to them and just give them an idea how tall it is. Let's see how on the top of this top of it here. Yeah. You see it's about uh, maybe a, about a couple of, maybe about three feet, almost about two and a half feet in height. Yeah. So the sea is actually undermining the land here. So it's, it's, it's um the coastal erosion is very evident in this part here, yeah, people. Very, very evident. You can see all these coconut trees uprooted here on the shoreline. And this is um, some of the stone they used to have here um, to kind of prevent the coastal erosion, but it has since turned into a kind of reef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, July, August month. I mean, it's pristine time for sea bathing down here at Tikakas, Constance Estate. Really, really is nice. I mean, really is different. So the sea here is kind of bordered by the coconut trees background. Look at the beautiful coconut trees. And Constance Estate 
there used to be one thriving estate back in let's say like 50 40 50 years ago and beyond big coconut factory producing up to about um 1600 gallons of oil so all this have come to north eh? wow imagine that so this entire area was like barracks and savannah and all that clubhouse full works but it has gone into the sea now and the lighthouse I will share a little picture of the lighthouse with you. It used to be way out there. Probably about, uh, I would say about uh, maybe 300 meters in this direction from here. Alright. And this here is an almond tree that was uprooted. So it kind of become a, a little landmark along the shoreline here. That almond tree here. Where you got the marbles? Can you see them? Can you see the marbles? I don't know. Look at a real small crab here. Can you see? Can you guys can see this? It's a really, really tiny crab. Can you guys can see that? I could probably zoom in a little bit for you. You guys seen this? That's the smallest crab I ever see. I ever see. Look at this, folks. I'm trying to keep my hand as steady as possible. It's a really, really small crab. So this is one of the barracks in the in the estate here at Constance, and um, I am certain that this barracks is over 100 years old. All right, I am certain that this barracks is over 100 years old. Look at it, people. They'll come to that. No, we just cannot touch in this. I'm showing you how, how this guy was showing his clothes with a blue soap, with a blue soap, right? Is that real traditional way of scrubbing clothing? Lavando la ropa. Mm-hmm, lavando ropa. Lavando means washing the clothes. Lavando la ropa. Mm -hmm. um, can you ever say somebody wash clothes like this? You know about washing machine and thing? Eh? So these, these, um, these folks who live here, they actually gather the coconuts, as you can see. It is part of how they only live in. <laughs> <laughs> and what's happening on this side here? We have some pollo rosado. Pollo <laughs> Roast chicken, boy. Look at that, boy. I don't watch you going on here, now, man. A little fire burning here. Yeah? Hey, cuidado el perro, you know. The perro, the perro, come here, the the pollo, you know. Hey, 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 hey! Hey! ¿Qué tipo de gallo? ¿Es de Venezuela? Sí, de Venezuela. Ya no, ¿Un ¿Sí? Pollo, pollo, vente. Pollo. No escucha. Ey, bueno, le, oh, ven la sola silva, aman, aman. Un hombre lavando la, la ropa. Normalmente, ¿qué hace la, la mujer? La mujer también. La mujer. Ok, ok, ok. Uh, this is Ariel, Ariel, Ariel Chubac here, people. I've got a woman here for me. I've got a woman here. What do you want? A woman? Yes, a woman. I'll bring a woman from Venezuela. He tells me in English to bring a, a woman for him. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Anyway, at least he's self-sufficient. He's washing his clothes and things, you know? This is the life here, man. This is the life here down in the countryside. Beautiful evening, man. 
¿Cómo está? ¿Bien? ¿A dónde va? ¿Todo bien? Ay, so we came out on the beach and we met Elijah. Elijah, what do you got here, boy? Kongs. Hey, look at Elijah, get some kongs, boy. Ooh, look at kongs. So where do you boil them and you take all the flesh yeah. and eat it? Yeah. How you, how you, how you cooking it? How you cook it? How you cook it? Curry? Yeah. With what? Yeah, cut all the tutu. Yeah. All right, all right. So, so how you cook it? Curry with what? We eat it with salad roti? Yeah, you put aloo in it. You put aloo in it? How it is? Good. Ah, nice. Nice one, nice vibes here, man. Somebody get some kongs here. Yeah? Nice kongs, bro. Look at it. Now, usually when the tide low, you can harvest these things, yeah? So because you'll find them all inside the log and thing in them, um, them places and them, you so. So you have to boil it and take, take um, like a pin or something and take all the flesh from it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, nice one. So this is, this is, this is our little evening walk. Caleb? Yeah. Caleb, evening walk on the beach here. Yeah? And we're looking to head back home now. So, from Southwest Adventures, we, you know, we're saying to all those who, the people from the residents of Tobago, um, we hope that, you know, not too much uh, destruction happened here. And, you know, we wish you all the best in safety and everything. All right, folks.